Horses are a fun addition to any acreage, but before you get a horse, you need to know a little bit about horse safety. I have Ashley House with me today. She's going to give me a few tips on horse safety. Ashley, what do I need to know to get started? To get started, you need to know that a horse has a mind of its own, just like humans, and it knows what it wants to do, so you have to compromise with it to get it to do what you want. Um, when you first approach a horse, you want to approach it from the side, never right. from the front or the back, because you don't want to spook it. You always want to let it know you're here by petting it. Um, All right. If you're going to let it sniff you to check you out, don't get your hand too close to the mouth because horses can bite and they can kick. My daughter's talked about getting a horse. Is there any training that she needs before we do that? Um, she should probably take a few riding lessons first so that she gets a feel for what it is like to ride a horse and she knows if she wants you to make the investment fully. Okay. So, and there are different uh, personalities on horses, so we want a calm one like Lizzie. Yes, for kids, calm horses are very good. Um, it all, all right. depends on the skill level. Don't worry about the size. Okay. What about um, when you're riding, you need to wear a helmet? I yes, think. you should always wear a helmet while riding a horse. Um, all helmets need to be certified, but uh, the only time you'd need a different helmet is if you were in a high jumping sport or where you could all get right. hurt. Okay, so that requires an even uh, tougher helmet. Yeah, high impact helmet. All right. Now, what about when you're getting on the horse? Can you sh give me a few tips there? Yes, when you're getting on the horse, you want to make sure your cinch is tight, and you want to adjust the uh, stirrups to fit your legs. So these are pretty short. I'm going to move them down a few notches to All fit right. me. Okay. And then make sure the saddle's snug before you get on. Okay. Um, you want to take, put, always put your left foot. You always want to get on from the left side. On from the left. You put your left foot in here and grab the reins and the saddle horn with your left hand. All right. And you can swing your right leg around and put it in the stirrup. All right. Oh. You always keep your reins in one hand and have one hand free for balance. Okay. All right. Now, how about with the dismount? Um, the horse can sometimes get spooked while mounting and dismounting, and you always want to mount and dismount to the left side. Okay. So you're going to hold on to the saddle horn with your left hand and swing your right leg around. Okay. And gently step down. All right. Are there any safety tips I need to know for leading the horse? Yes. When you uh, lead, you always want to make sure the rope is um, not looped like this. If All it right. pulls tight, your hand could get caught. So if the horse would spook and I had that wrapped around, then I could You're get dragged. You're probably going to get drugged okay. with it. So you want to make a figure eight shape and hold it in the middle. Okay. Um, if the bridle is still on, you're going to want to bring down the reins. Okay. And mix them in with the lead rope because you don't want a big mess and get tangled up. And you're still on the left side? Yes, always on the left side, no matter what you're doing. So um, stay about an arm's length away okay. so that your feet don't get stepped on, and you put your right hand close to the horse's head so that you can control where you're going. All right. Well, thank you, Ashley, for those tips. You're welcome, Betsy. Now we're going to get some tips from Living the Country Life. Looking for the latest gadgets and gear? Check out these cool country tools. Sick of mosquitoes? Trap them with technology. The mosquito magnet converts propane into CO2, mimicking human breath and drawing in hungry mosquitoes. Once the skeeters swarm in, they are trapped in the dehydration chamber and they're done for. USDA tested, the mosquito magnet won't bother beneficial insects, but will help you win the war against the irritating insects. Protect your paddocks with Keep Safe Horse Fencing. Its closely spaced diamond mesh construction gives the fencing incredible strength and a springy texture. This allows horses to brush and bump against the fence without damaging their coats. The tight mesh means hooves and legs won't get caught in the fence, and predators won't penetrate the barrier. Power through tough jobs with the 2200 Pressure Washer by Briggs & Stratton. Four different nozzles let you choose just the right tool for your job. Switch easily from delicate to general to max. There's even a cleaning detergent nozzle. The gas-powered pressure washer is built with extra high wheels for easy mobility and comes with a 25-foot high-pressure hose. Load them up and move them out with the Featherlight two-horse trailer. This straight-load bumper pull model is an economy aluminum trailer just right for first-time horse owners. Want to haul more than horses? The removable divider transforms it into a multi-purpose utility trailer. To get your cool country tools, log on to livingthecountrylife.com.